Hello friends, this is Shubham and welcome to my YouTube channel. So as you can see from the title, we will be talking about face recognition in this video. So let's start. Face recognition is very crucial field of application and research in computer vision. One of the major advantages of facial recognition technologies is safety and security. It is being mostly used there. Also other applications uh, like uh, attendance system in schools and all. So there are various applications of this. Like thanks to the fast computing power and advanced algorithms that we can make computers recognize our faces using sample videos and uh, images, right? So we can train them. And uh, in this video, our objective will be to build a deep learning model that can recognize the person by recognizing their faces. So let's start. This is the uh, folder structure that we'll be using and we have uh, particularly three codes that is creating the data set training the model and displaying the result since i have already trained a model and worked on it before uh, creating this video so i have this file called final model h5 okay this is a trained model so yeah so let's uh, go into the code so we these are the three files that i was talking about create data set train model and display results.py okay so what we will be doing in create data set is we will be creating our train and test data set okay so using this code you will be able to create that and i will be explaining each and every line of this so this is uh, first what we will do is we import dependencies here like uh, computer vision for, for computer vision there is open cv that is cv2 here and cv2 library and the numpy so here we we'll, we are using the face uh, classifier as the har cascade frontal face default dot xml this is used to detect the faces in an image okay so uh, I'll give you the download link of this uh, uh, XML file. So here we have that XML file. Okay, so you can download this and then you can uh, put it as, you can put it in the same folder structure as I have done. Okay, or you can if you have other folder structures, then uh, you can just specify the path here like a dot uh, slash anything. Okay, so this is uh, you have loaded the XML file for frontal face detection uh, hard cascade and then uh, this function called face extractor okay this is used to extract the face uh, using this uh, face classifier okay this object of har cascade so here you're using the uh, face classifier so what we do is that we first convert the faces into uh, gray scale okay so uh, as you can see i have all the written all the notes here now uh, generally the images that we see are in the form of rgb that is red green blue so when OpenCV reads the RGB image, it usually stores the image in BGR format. So uh, for the purpose of image recognition, we need to convert the BGR channel to gray channel. Now, what is the reason for that? The reason for this is gray channel is easy to process and computationally less intensive as it contains only one channel of black and white, black or white. Okay. So uh, this uh, say your um, image is of uh, like 32 cross th uh, 32 cross 32 cross 3. So this will become uh, 32 cross 32 cross 1 because there will be only a single channel okay not rgb so this is uh, computationally less uh, expensive and intensive okay so next uh, there is a function called detect multi scale for uh, and this is uh, the function of this face classifier object that you have created before so what it does is uh, it will locate the, it will locate the uh, exact features of in our face like this uh, detect multi scale function will help us to find the features and location in our new image this way it, uh, what it does is uh, see it has got three parameters here like uh, the you have to provide the gray scale variable that you have created here this is gray and scale factor and min neighbors so what are the scale factors so scale factor is parameter that specifying how much image size is reduced at the each image scale min neighbors parameter specifying how many neighbors each candidate rectangle should ha have to return it this parameter will affect the uh, quality of the detected faces higher value results of few detections but with higher quality 3 to 6 is a good value for it in our case we have taken uh, not 6 but we have taken 5 um, yeah as the min neighbors and this has worked perfectly for yeah obviously so yeah this is function is for detecting the faces and we'll just crop it uh, this xyz we'll get the coordinates from the detect multi scale okay from here we'll get the uh, coordinates like x coordinate y coordinate width and height so from there you can uh, crop the faces and you can uh, this function will uh, most probably do the same so <clears throat> this function the cap is equal to cv2 to video capture this is used uh, used when you are reading uh, your face or you reading any image from your webcam okay from your internal webcam if you put this as one like uh, you 
if you have some external camera or something you can put the other one okay and uh, we are most probably doing the same thing uh, we are reading the each and every frame okay and then we are passing it to the face extractor and this is the function called face extractor it is converting to uh, like the grayscale then it is uh, cropping the images and all so and what and next thing what it is doing is uh, it is storing all the uh, faces that you have uh, captured it from your webcam to a folder so say uh, this is the folder structure you can see inside the data you have train and test okay inside train i have two folders shubham and rana so uh, this is my pics okay these are the pics that you have uh, captured from the webcam if you run this uh, create dataset.py you automatically it will start the webcam and it will start detecting your faces okay and it will store all the faces in this folder um right and um, this is the count of 200 so we can store any number of uh, you can store any number of frames okay so in in our, in this case we have uh, saved 150 files for train uh, for each like uh, for shubham and rana okay so we have uh, captured 150 150 for this and for test we have 50 50 pictures in shubham and in rana we have 50 uh, each so for train we will be uh, working on 300 total images and for test we have 100 images okay so this is for creating the data set and then what we will do is we will train the model on the data set okay so same thing we will be using vgg16 in, in this video we can train it using uh, vgg19 restnet any deep learning uh, cnn based architecture you can use in, uh, to detect this okay to train the model so we are using the image sizes 224 224 because we are using the vgg16 model and vgg16 model uh, the input size is of uh, like uh, 224 cross 224 cross 3 okay so here we are uh, setting the path of the train train data set and the test data set uh, as per your folder structure you can set this okay then uh, we are de uh, defining the vgg 16 object here uh, input size of 224 220, uh, 224 and then 3 okay and these are the weights which are trained on the ImageNet data set the vg 16 was pre previously trained on uh, ImageNet data set right okay so here we can see that uh, we have to do this like uh, because we want to train on our data set right so you have to do a, a layer of training equal to false then uh, the same thing we are doing like uh, we will be flattening it okay and then we will be putting a dense layer and since it is a binary classification task because we have only two uh, you know classes to detect here as you can see rana and shubham if you have more then you can use softmax if you have uh, say binary then you can use sigmoid as well so yeah this is pretty much our model and you can print your model summary here you can um, see the summary in your uh, Jupyter notebook or you can run this python file also you, you will be seeing the summary in your terminal so here you're using categorical cross entropy as since we are doing a binary classification we can use a binary cross entropy also but uh, uh, we can extend this to multi-class okay so we are using accuracy as metric optimizer as atom here we are doing some image augmentation here like uh, in train data set you are doing and test data set and test data set you don't do actually um, just you can uh, scale the images so after doing image augmentation um, just fed the generator okay this is the okay image augmentation you are doing then flow from directory so this is the same thing that uh, whatever object you have made for uh, data generator you are just fitting that to a uh, train and test data set then um, just fed the model i am running on two epochs because uh, currently i am running on cpu and uh, not a gpu so it will take a lot of time so uh, two epochs is more than enough for our data set because it is very small and it will give you better like good results okay so here we are just saving the model uh, wh whatever you have trained okay so after training uh, what you will get is uh, this trained file you can see here um, give me a minute here the final model.h5 you will be able to see this file in your folder structure after running this file okay successfully you can also like uh, I have commented this file because we are running it on terminal you can if you run this file on Jupyter, Jupyter notebook then uh, obviously you can uncomment this and you can see a loss uh, plot and um, since I have already run this and you can see here that uh, we are getting a pretty much very good results here okay so the loss is always decreasing so no overfit and all so great
so next thing uh, what is what we can do is this is the display results so in in this what you are doing we need a face extractor once again because uh, from the image you will have to detect the face using the har cascade for frontal face detector right so it will detect your face then again it will process your face like it will resize your face to 224 224 because your model that is vg16 understands uh, like 224 224 cross 3 you can put other shapes as well so there are like uh, modifications to the architecture that you have to do so here you are converting it into the uh, then you are converting into the numpy array here uh, n dimensional array then you are uh, just passing it to the model dot predict and you are getting the predictions so, uh, so here your name is equal to nothing matching because this is just uh, to uh, uh, exception you can handle here so, uh, predictions 0, 0, 0, 001 so this is the kind of uh, you know the prediction that you get so say you have uh, say five say three uh, like uh, classes to predict so there will be 0, 0, 0, 001 and 0, 02 okay this is shubham and this is my father actually rana is my father so <laughs> i am i am just not using his name here i am writing just a father here okay okay the second parameter that you can see here uh, it will give you the confidence scores like uh, we want to be confident enough to say that yeah this face is some of some uh, one that you want correctly to be detected right so we want our threshold uh, to be 0 0.5 here so anything your confidence greater than 0 0.5 it will tell you that okay this is shivam or this is your father or this is some other class that you want to detect so uh, you can see his uh, images also here i think i have not shown you before but in data you can see here here is a train and is my father's pick here okay <laughs> great so here's my father's pick and this is my pick here very bad picks you know <laughs> okay so here we have trained our model then we so running this code, you will, you will be able to uh, successfully uh, predict or recognize the images. So let's try this, okay? So we can do an ls here and we can see all the files here. So we're going to run display results.py. So, okay, I think Python display results.py display results.py, yeah. So it is loading the dependencies first. No issues. So yeah, no face found, then it is correctly recognizing me. So great job, right? Does it recognize me without glasses? Because people do not. Oh yeah, it's working well and good. Okay, so I think we have used a queue to stop this um let me type on q yeah so we have successfully seen these are the probabilities and all we are getting here of my face being detected okay so from here we have um, seen like here we are doing it right like this so we can uh, obviously you know uh, if you have multi class then you can handle it in this way here and if you want to show confidence scores you want to show other details then you can do a cb dot to put text and you can uh, like put in your images you can embed it in your images and you can show other details as well so that's it for this video um i hope you liked it if you have any suggestions any comments then you can, you can always always comment on my video if you like this video please subscribe please like and please comment on my video thank you bye bye